Our topic today is number patterns, part one, addition patterns. Addition patterns involve a series of numbers. For example, here we have a series of numbers 18, 28, 38, 48, and then you see the blank. And typically we go from left to right unless the directions say otherwise. Our job is to find the rule. And by rule, we mean when you look at our first two numbers, 18 and 28, what is happening in between to change 18 into 28? The numbers change, but when we do patterns, the rule won't change. So what I want to do here is stretch out these numbers. And I did that down here so that we can show the, our thinking behind that. OK, so 18 to 28. The numbers are either going to get bigger or smaller, and we can see that they're getting bigger, which means that either this is going to be an addition pattern or a multiplication pattern. Well, it's not going to be multiplication because I know that 18 times any number is not going to equal 28. So we've narrowed this down to an addition pattern. So down here, I'm going to show this as I'm going to begin to write the rule. It's going to be 18 plus blank equals 28. So here we have 18 to 28. But what you want to be thinking is in this way, 18 plus blank equals 28. Our job is to solve for that blank. A couple ways you can do that. We can use related facts. We can say 28 minus 18. 8 take away 8 would be 0. And 2 minus 1 would be 1, which would give us 10. So 18 plus 10 equals 28. So I'm going to write plus 10 up here. So our rule would be plus 10. Now, when you're doing patterns, you want to make sure that the rule stays the same. So I'm going to try it with the, my next set of numbers. 28 plus 10 equals 38. And I know that if I just use mental math, that the 8 and the 0 and the 1s equals our 8. And then the 2 and the 10s plus 1 would be 3. So, so our pattern is working across. Same thing between 38 and 48. We're going 38 plus 10 equals 48. So our rule is staying exactly the same as we're working across. So we have found our rule. It's going to be a plus 10, or you could write add 10. And our job now is to figure out the blank. We're going to continue the same process, 48 plus 10 is going to be 8 plus the 0 in the 1s would be our 8, and the 4 in the 10s plus the 1 would be 58. So our last number in our pattern would be 58. So your equations are something that you want to be thinking about. You can write them out, but you could also use mental math. But we're showing the thought process there. Find the rule. Here we have a number pattern from left to right, 44, 51, 58 blank. You'll also notice that the first was left out as well. So. Let's start with what we have, 44 going to 51 to 58. I see that my numbers are getting bigger, so it's going to be either addition or multiplication. 44 times any number will not equal 51. So once again, this is, is an addition rule. And I'm going to start with my 44. 44 plus blank equals the 51. So you see how we're using our information to write an equation. I'll show you a pin dot strategy for this one. You could say 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. I stopped when I said 51, and I'm counting seven dots. So we're showing a plus seven rule, and we want to continue this. Let's check with 51 to 58. So 51 plus 7, that's our rule, should equal 58. Well, let's check. 51, and if I count on 7, 51 
52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, and that checks out. So we know that we have a plus 7. We've checked it twice. How do we find this blank? We're just going to continue using our rule. Remember, the rule stays exactly the same, although the numbers will change. 58 plus 7. We have 58, again, using our, or we could also use an addition strategy. And we could uh, say 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We group our 1. 1 plus 5 would be 6. So we would get 65. Now, that leads us with this number here. Well, remember that if we show our equation, it's going to be blank plus 7 equals 44. In this case, because we want to go the opposite direction, instead of we were working towards the right, now we're working back towards the left. Instead of adding, we want to subtract. I'm going to take the 44, right? Instead of adding 7, we're going to subtract 7. If I show my regrouping here, I could still use my count method. I can count from 7 to 14 to find the difference. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I showed 7 dots. So 7 and 3 take away nothing is 37. So our first number of the pattern, which we found through subtracting, that's called related facts, would be 37. So our rule was plus 7. All right. Uh, go ahead and pause and try this one. Your job is to find the rule and to solve for our missing number. So pause and try it for a minute. All right. Let's go ahead and solve. 60. I'm going to start with my 66. And I know that 66, it's going up, which means that it's either going to be addition or multiplication. I don't think I can multiply 66 and get 71. So this is going to be an addition once again. 66 plus blank equals 71. If I just use a count on strategy, it's going to be 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So this is going to be a plus 5 rule. And let's remember the rule stays the same. So 71 plus 5. If I, I'm just going to use a count on, ready? 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. And there's our 76. So now we're going to do count on 5 more, right? 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. So our rule was plus 5, but we still have this number to the left. So this would read blank plus 5 equals 66. We're going to need to subtract there. We're going to use the related fact. Ready? 66 minus 5, 6 Take away 5 is 1, and bring our 6 down. 6 take away nothing is 6, and the last number of our pattern would be 61. All right, thanks, everybody.